Hey guys, today I'm going to answer a question that a lot of you have been asking whether or not you should buy the new Caladesh Planeswalkers. Should you pre-order them? If you were to pre-order them, which one would you pre-order at? And the simple answer is no. The Planeswalkers are extremely hyped. Uh, as we see the prices here, you have two Planeswalkers at $24.99 and you have one Planeswalker at $59.99 and being completely sold out so all 40 in stock is gone and the blue red planeswalker is 25 dollars and there's only two of them in stock so mm, some people are buying these planeswalkers except for nissa which is okay but at the end of the day like it's way overhyped at this point in time you need to wait two weeks Two weeks, if Chandra holds her price at $60 plus, dollars, I would say, hmm, that's interesting. Let, maybe it's time to obtain a place of that. Or if Sahili Ra Ray went up a little bit in price, that would be very interesting. However, the large majority of Planeswalkers, Narset comes to mind as a recent example of a absolute collapse pre-ordering at 40 45 50 dollars and then all the way collapsing to eight bucks i don't see that happening to chandra just because he is kind of a known quantity uh, each of those abilities is known i do see that happening with nissa i see her dropping to sub ten dollars very very fast uh, for sahili ray her ability and the fact that she only costs free mana and the two colors she's in, I like it a ton because I have a good feeling about blue-red in this current set. However, $24.99 is just too much money. Uh, it's too much money for all, all of these pre-orders are not going to be great pre-orders. And if you're looking for a good pre-order, something to kind of spec on, you would almost never choose Planeswalkers. The only Planeswalker I can remember uh, being lower at its price point was at pre-order was uh, JSD Mind Sculptor being considerably lo lower. Uh, and I mean, he was a very unique case. And before that time, Planeswalkers were not as good and they were just kind of crappy, honestly. So yeah, Jace kind of changed how people uh, viewed Planeswalkers. And then from Jace on people especially stores would set these enormous pre-order prices on these planeswalkers and literally they would almost never hit uh, i'm trying to remember if you guys can leave me a comment oh jace vin's prodigy that's the utmost recent one that as a pre-order would have been fantastic pre-order but just as there's one jace there's four other planeswalkers in that set and they all have Lily did okay at some time, but they all had very low points. And Jace right now is going to hit a probably sub $25 soon if it's not already there by the time this video is posted. So a uh, simple answer, no, do not pre-order Planeswalkers. It's almost always a losing proposition. The Jace the Mind Sculptor and the Jace Vince Prodigy, those are two exceptions. For every one Jace Finch Prodigy, you have a Nyssa, you have a Chandra, you have a Gideon, you have a Lily. Uh, that all pretty much tanked in price. Anyway, bye guys.